Just finished a great conversation with Stacy Ross Cohen for her new book, Brand Up, The Ultimate Playbook for College and Career Success in the Digital World. And we talked about the opportunities our students have that we didn't have for building their digital footprint to focus on digital leadership. And I didn't share this in the podcast, but I did share a story with her after because I know she has a really big interest in this area. And a quote that I'm known for, and sometimes people share just the quote, but not the story behind it. And I think the story behind it really matters is this one, is that we need to make the positives so loud that the negatives are almost impossible to hear. Why did I say that? Where does that quote come from? And so the story behind that quote was I was actually speaking at a conference in Indiana to 2000 high school students. And what happened that day was I encouraged them to get out their devices, to actually tweet and share their thinking so I could learn from them during this process. And I would speak for a little bit. And what happens is I show a video and during the video, the attention of the participants is usually on the screen and I'm checking tweets. I'm seeing what's going on. So I can pick up some feedback. And the first tweet I get, I won't say it, was horrible. And it was very negative, very, let's just say negative. Totally anonymous, but I know it's from someone in the room because they're addressing something that I said. So I speak for a little bit. I ignored it, show a video. There's another one, super inappropriate, building on the first one. So I'm very uncomfortable and I'm watching the students and all these students in front of me are looking at their phones. They all know what's going on. Now, nobody knows who did it because they're doing it anonymously, but everyone knows what's going on. And I actually looked at the teachers in the room and all they're doing is thinking, wow, these kids are really engaged because they're not, they have no idea what's going on, but they're seeing the kids really kind of into it, watching what I'm about to do. And I share this because I know people know me as an advocate of kids connecting and learning and building their footprints, the first thing I thought when this happened was shut it down. And then I caught myself and I'm like, am I really shutting down this opportunity because of two kids out of 2000, which schools do all the time, by the way, right? We see something really negative by one person, we shut it down for everything, right? Someone does stupid, something stupid online, shut down everything, right? Break the arm in a playground, let's get rid of playgrounds. A thing that I share with audiences all the time is that every teacher that is listening to this podcast right now is suffering from some policy that is in your organization because someone did something stupid 25 years ago and you're paying for it today. So I'm not this person, right? But I also know these kids are doing this anonymously and I got to figure out a way out of this. This is a high school level. So I just said in my talk, when I was a student or when I was a teacher and if you were my student, do you know how I measured success is that if I saw you outside of school, would I literally cross the street to come talk to you? Would I actually go to my way to have a conversation with you? If I did that, that showed me something. And I prayed that I would become that teacher. And hopefully you can be that for each other today. So this kid, and I still connect with him, he tweeted from the account, Mr. Sauce. And he said, I love the way you share your message is very entertaining and informative. And he complimented me and I stopped everything. I said, where's Mr. Sauce? So this kid stands up way in the back. His name is Dita. And I I said, what is your name, sir? He said, Dita. I said, Dita, you have no idea the impact you had on me. And he didn't just have an impact on me. He had an impact on all these other students who start bombarding this hashtag with kind things. And what was interesting is that the hashtag was so overwhelmed with kind comments and very positive, uplifting things because it is contagious, right? They saw that I acknowledged this and they wanted to be a part of something. And what's fascinating, the educators at the end of the day, they looked at the hashtag, they're like, those kids love you, like not everybody, not everybody loved me, right? But the first two kids, whoever they were, never tweeted from those accounts again, which I thought was really fascinating. But there was something really powerful that day. And the quote, we need to make the positive so loud, the negatives are almost impossible here, isn't about pretending everything is good in the world, It's not about addressing issues. It's actually being the example of a way to move forward, to actually be something really positive that people want to catch on to. And I learned that lesson from a student. 